What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more scrap mechanic and today we're going to build a better mining vehicle. I said in the last episode I didn't like the mining trailer and actually I took the whole thing apart. This is the entire mining trailer minus the block. So I want to build a vehicle that can just like drive right into the rocks, push through them and come out the other side completely victorious and I have an idea for it and my idea uses basically a series of fingers where each drill bit is mounted on its own finger with like a suspension piece and it kind of moves up and down with the piston and here's basically what I'm thinking so I don't know if this is going to work at all and I honestly have no idea how this is actually going to work when we put it onto a miner but basically I want to put a piece of concrete here which is incredibly difficult to see um, just because it's concrete on concrete and then we're going to put a piece that comes up the piston on that that attaches to another piece and then this piece attaches to some other weird thingy that pivots on this kind of here we go yeah we put a piece there there we go and we attach that to this this to that right and then this piece goes up like this okay this might look weird i think this works right and then if we weld this whole thing up uh just as an example and i want to have six of these because we have six drill bits do we have a switch somewhere we got a switch perfect so this is the idea and each one of these theoretically is like its own sort of like look at that oh that's too much hold on there we go four three so it'd have to be like four but there we go so each one of these theoretically has a bit of like suspension cushioning right because the piston itself is going to cushion so the drill bits are mounted on the end of this like so and theoretically this is all going to work like we go like this and then like that and then like that and that would be your your drill bit right and i mean I don't know and then we put six of them across the front of the vehicle and then we want to drive away we can pull them all up and we can put them all down and just kind of scoot along the ground i i don't know guys i'm guessing here i think this is gonna work this is literally the plan so i'm gonna make six of these we'll put them all in a line we'll space them all out and then we'll put them on the front of a vehicle we're gonna make the vehicle really really heavy out of concrete i'm actually gonna change this and make this arm out of wood even if the rock face is really really big we don't really have to mine it from the top we can just mine it out at the bottom and as we're driving over the stuff we'll just kind of pick up the debris with some collectors or whatever so let's just duplicate this real quick and uh see what we can do all right i've got three drill fingers so far i'm gonna make three more i've actually switched them up out of wood because i want to save the concrete for the vehicle i feel like we need the vehicle to be as heavy as possible not to get pushed around by all these drills but it's actually pretty good. They're going pretty well. It would be super nice if we could just save one of these on the lift and duplicate it, you know, six times because we have the material for it. But either way, we've got, uh, you know, a bit of a process. I think I could actually build one of these completely from memory now. So it's like out like this, up like this, piston. I've literally been just, you know, spam building these now. So you kind of get used to what the design actually is. And then this goes here. That goes like that. Look at this. Perfect up one block there suspension uh block bearing dot perfect look at that i could be a factory worker no problem i'm just really curious to see if this works to be honest i have a feeling the drill bits are still going to be super powerful and kind of push everything you know around and out of the way but hopefully these pistons can you know provide some force i i don't know that's my guess my hope is that we can get the pistons actually pushing into the rock to kind of force the drill bits to stay down and then of course actually have the suspension on the end do a bit of dampening as well perfect so we have six drill bits here now my plan is to space them out um let me see here the bit is one block okay hold on you know what? if we make these all three that's the perfect width of the drill bit right there. So let's actually put one block spacing in between them all and then weld them all in a line. So it'll be like one block between each drill bit. So block here and then weld this to that. Perfect. Another block here and repeat. This is actually going to be relatively wide. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I knew that was coming. It's fine. There we go. Perfect. So that is our super laggy sweeper device that just you know is terrible we'll never take it off the lift okay so that's our full width no problem i guess let's test if this works this is a little bit laggy um eh. oh no it's not bad okay it fixes itself so what happens if we 
I can't even mount this in here. Oh, hold on. We can do it that way. Let's, you know, let's bring this outside. This is a little big for the garage. It's going to end up looking like a little bit of a combine, I think, except not really rotating in the front. Kind of just a bunch of drill. I don't know. We might have to take some drills off, to be honest. This is a very, very wide setup. But there we go. Let's put a switch on it and see what happens if we lower all these drills on a single switch. Sick. All right, so that, that's the plan. And then we take this up, and they all come back, and you can drive around. And then we go like this, and we go back to shredding. Oh, man. I think this might, this might work. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, oh, if we put it on fast, it gets a little bit stiffer. Okay, that actually might be good. That actually might be good. We might need it to be as stiff as possible. It's kind of unfortunate. I think the speed and power are linked on pistons. I wish, like, a level 5 piston had a power and a speed bar that was separate, but I'm pretty sure they're all linked as just, like, one stat, and so more speed equals more power, but I think this is gonna work, so that'll be good. Um, yeah, okay, obviously, we need a really heavy vehicle now. Okay, so now we just need to build a truck that can kind of handle all this, so we're just gonna build a, a truck completely separate and then just kind of slap that whole assembly onto the front of it. Now, the truck does have to be relatively big because we do need to put a resource collector and refinery system on it as well because it's got to drive over and pick up all the stuff automatically right so uh let's just lay out a big concrete slab all right perfect two resource collectors on this vehicle and then we're going to put a refinery on the back don't want that out of wood we want this only out of concrete ideally and then we're going to put four wheel steering four wheel drive and some electric motors so uh we'll just slap the refinery on the back we pretty much need it in the middle to make sure it gets both resource collectors i'm not exactly sure last time i did this on the grinding trailer i actually realized it wasn't grabbing from both it was only grabbing from one of them because for some reason it just i don't know it wasn't like perfectly in front of it you can't actually put a resource collector here the refinery won't pull it has to seemingly be on the one side of it but i think that's pretty good where it is there it's not exactly perfectly centered i don't think we can yeah, we can't really center it, can we? Well, you know what? Good enough. That'll do. And then we'll put a chest on the back. Let's just finish up, put some wheels on this thing, put some motors on it, and we should be good to go. All right, it's not my most glorious looking vehicle, but I think this is going to be good enough for now. It's got lots of uh, wheelbase, which I'm hoping is going to help keep the front weight, you know, off. And I wanted to put the wheels nice and low, you can see, so that hopefully this gives us more ground clearance. I know a lot of the rocks are on, like, really terrible hills and stuff, and even this might not be enough ground clearance, honestly. We might have to make it even taller, but hopefully this is enough. Um, I think we got to reverse these two. Perfect. And then we need to put some engines on it. So I've got one level 5 electric engine, and I think the rest of them are on the front wall. They are. We've got another one, which we'll use for, I guess, the drills. Doesn't really matter. We'll just put two of them here on the side for now. Uh, I think that's good enough. And we'll just fill them with batteries manually. They shouldn't consume too much, and honestly... We can just take a couple extra battery stacks with us. Once we get some component kits, we'll upgrade this thing to max level anyway, but it should be fine. Um, level 5 we'll use to push the whole vehicle, because I feel like this vehicle is going to need it. And then we're going to attach the entire front assembly and put some drill bits on it. So here we go, turning. We can barely move, that's right. We need to increase this a little bit. I don't know, how's that? Oh yeah. Does this have a center? Of course it doesn't, because why would I make it the same? Yeah, this does not have, this does not have a perfect center at all. Well, let's just attach it. You know what, we can always make it look better later. Not exactly perfectly centered. Let's hook this up, that goes to there. We don't need this block at all, we can actually get rid of both of those. Excellent. Uh, does this not just doesn't drive oh we're on the lift all right there we go so now we've got our drills and if we back up let's see how this lines up it's actually it's kind of starting to look like a combine honestly it's got like a big back section and then it's got this sort of weird assembly on the front holy cow that is aggressive okay um they're low enough look at that they're definitely low enough okay well you know let's try it I mean, worst case, we, we do some improvising and fix it up. So we're going to have the drill bits rotate in opposite directions. The three on the one side will rotate in, and the three on the other side will rotate in as well. So they're all going to rotate towards the middle. 
just like this. And I'm hoping that helps, I don't know, counteract the torque or something. And I'm hoping these suspension pieces all kind of do their thing, like the piston axis suspension with the suspension piece as well. I honestly have no idea what's going to happen here, guys. I couldn't tell you, but let's get rid of this. Let's put our controls back a little bit, just so they're a little bit more protected in case something happens. And we got one switch, we got two. Two's going to run that electric engine, and this should be at, you know, just max speed, I guess, right? If we turn that on, looks great. And then one is going to connect into all these pistons. And then we just gotta go find some rocks and see what happens. I hope this works. I mean, let's do it. There we go. Boom. That looks pretty good. That looks good. They're like, they're almost touching the ground. We don't have suspension on our back vehicle because it is super heavy. And I feel like it's just not necessary. Well, I don't know. This looks, this looks pretty good. Let's try it. You know what? Oh boy. Let's head out. Let's go find some rocks. You know, if this ends up working, I might actually end up mounting the seat above the collector's stuff. You know, I should really do that now. You know, we're going to pull into the packing station here. We're going to make some changes because we should be protected here. But what I want to do, I want to narrow the wheelbase because this is going to be really long. And I think dealing with rocks and stuff is not going to be useful. But what we can do, I think, is we just take the seat off and we put the seat on top of the collectors, right? Because, you know, this is a nice high vantage point. And then we'll just trim this entire front section with the wheels completely off. I got tons of inventory space. Okay, good. Don't want to lose parts accidentally. But yeah, we're going to take all these wheels off. And we're going to just widen the front wheelbase out. And bring this weld point back to the middle of this. Oh boy, this is... Okay, can I, can I weld this, please? There we go. Just like that. And then we'll put the front wheels coming up the side here. I just want to make it more like a combine. Now that I see it, I can't not see it. And I just feel like if this works, we can end up decorating this, putting a little bit of a cab on it, painting it red and having like a bright farm combine. That's actually just a mining vehicle, but I feel like it would look really, really cool. So let's just hook this up and then we'll see if this still works. No problem. And let's go find some rocks. Now it looks more like a combine. Oh, wait, we don't have back steering. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Oh yeah. That looks great. We press two, it turns on all those drills. Press one, it flicks them all down. This, you know what? This might work. This might actually work. What happens if we extend these by one? Does it... No, no, it still just jams into the ground. That might actually be better. Let's put these up to five. That actually might be better. It does kind of lift the whole front of the vehicle up a little bit. But I don't think that's a big deal. Oh yeah, it takes the... Oh boy. All right. Um... I mean, it it might it might still work. That might be too much. Oh boy, here's a farm bot. Okay, okay, farm bot. You want to do this? Get wrecked. Oh look, look more of you. Uh, there's just a random cow that that flew up in the air. That okay? It's fine. All right, there's some rocks here on the right. Let's go take a look at these. These are, again, the standard kind of rock formation you find. It's really frustrating that they're always on, like, this little bit of a hill. You can see they're always on a little bit of a bump. But we'll start with this small one, and then we'll work our way into the bigger pile. Uh, I'm going to change these back to four. I think five lifting up the front. I think that might be too aggressive. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? 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 I'm trying to do stuff here. Thank you. Let's try this out. Rocks. Prepare to meet the ultimate drilling machine. Let's do it. Just drive into it. Look at that. It's working. Look at They're wrapping over the edge of the terrain. You see that? They're actually going like one at a time. Of course, now we got the problem with they're all getting caught up in the thing. Hold, there we go. We can just do that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then collect. Collect. Drive over them. Oh, yeah. Get the ones on the ground, too. This is actually so much better than the trailer. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this might be the new drill vehicle. We're going to make it look like a combine at some point. I don't have the paint for it, though. But man, that's fast. I've never mined anything that fast. Holy cow. And, like, the fingers, they work exactly as I thought they would. I didn't think this was going to work. I thought, honestly, the drills were just going to flick the pistons, like, all over the place. And they weren't going to be able to control it. But the pistons actually do, like, their job. Like... See, as the drill vibrates, the piston pushes right back against it and keeps it, like, wrapped with the terrain. That was insane. Look at how fast we got rid of that whole thing. 
I'm actually gonna have resources now for once in the game. I can't believe it. We might actually finish the wall. Oh my goodness. And then just lift up, put him back down, sweeps the ground again. This is so cool. I've honestly been waiting to have a miner in this game that's good. I've 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 never had a good miner. I've always been sitting there with like just terrible, terrible mining systems. Now, of course, the question is, does the refinery pull from both? Look at that. Perfect. Pulls from both. Gonna save this cow. Don't worry, cow. I got you. All right. Well, seeing as how easy that worked, let's try the bigger pile now. This is this is awesome. I'm so excited by this. Like, I, I you have no idea. I've been waiting to have a good mining vehicle. Come on. Come on. There we go. Just push. Just drive into it. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Just keep driving. Full speed. We might have to back up. We got some rocks kind of, kind of jammed up on the, on the combine here. There we go. I'm honestly gonna turn this into a combine. It looks so much like a combine. It's basically a mining combine. It's not really meant for crop harvesting like a real one would be. But to be honest, like a combine in this game doesn't really seem uh, super useful because you only really need one vacuum pump to kind of pull up all your plants. You don't really have to actually cut them down or anything but look at that just grab a few rocks loop back around there's some cows i'm sorry cows you guys might become casualties here in the uh in the yeah there we go just get out of the way it's fine you're gonna you're good you're good the only thing which is unfortunate is the miners are way up at the front oh just out of battery really Okay, well, the second unfortunate thing is we might need to have more battery storage. We'll probably have to build a battery storage on this at some point. But yeah, the only unfortunate thing is because the collectors aren't up at the front, we do have that issue where uh, we're kind of collecting a lot of rocks on the ground and not picking them all up right away, which is causing a bit of that lag, although it's not too big a deal. And then, of course, we kind of need a, a little bit of a shield to prevent the rocks from getting up on the combine bits. But this is great. This is working super, super well. Yeah, just grind right into it, back up, lift them up, go back in, and it just, it hugs the train. You can see, like, each individual one just perfectly contours to the train, which is exactly what I wanted. Because every single, um, well, not every resource node, but most resource nodes are built up on these little hills. And if you don't have something that contours to the train, it just doesn't really work. Um, even this one might actually be a bit of a problem. Let's cow, seriously, dude. Like, I don't want to kill you, but, you know, you're kind of in the way. All right, well, since this works, we do have a bit of concrete on us. Let's uh, make this look a little bit more like a, a vehicle, a combine of sorts. So let's just put a cover on it here like that. And we'll eventually... Oh, I'm already out of concrete. Well, when we had concrete, you know, we had a bit for a second there. It was really nice. If you guys noticed, we had a bit of concrete. Did you see it? It was really cool. You might have missed it. But there we go. Is that... Are we pretty much out of concrete now? Oh, man, it took me so long to get resources before. Like, you have no idea. That's why the wall, we built the wall on what? Like, the fourth episode? Or maybe maybe, maybe a little longer. But we started working on the wall relatively quickly. And I still haven't finished all the layers of it just because the amount of material it takes. So this is going to, I think, speed things up tremendously if it'll uh, actually get this stuff here. Can we, what's going on here, guys? Can we get that? Might have to put this on five. Oh boy, we have our first casualty. Oh no, it's good. Thought we lost a drill for a second there. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry! Yeeted the cow. Whoops, didn't know you could do that. That's sick. Kind of works as a weapon too. You can kind of just use it to fend off the farm bot. Look at how aggressive this hill is though. Oh, we have no lights. Shoot, shoot. I forgot to put lights on this thing before we left the base. Oh well, we'll be fine. It's just going to get really dark here. I'm not going to see anything, but that's okay. Look at that drill. Just get rid of everything. Yeah. Perfect. Flip that up. Come on. This is insane. I can't believe how well this is working. Look at it. just goes. It just drills through it. Crushes the rocks down. Like, it's such a simple mechanism, too. It's just the individual pistons, I think, make the difference. The problem with suspension is suspension on its own doesn't, like, push it into the ground. I mean, I guess you could do, like, vertical suspension. What the heck? Okay. But yeah, maybe you could do some vertical suspension or something to push it into the ground. But the piston works really well on just making sure it always, like, hugs that contour of the terrain. And just make sure you get all the rocks. And, like, you know, when they fall to the ground like this, you can just drive through them and just grind them all down. No issue. 
course, we do kind of spread them out a lot more, so we do have to kind of drive around a little bit more to get everything, but it's not that big a deal. Come on, just, just grind through the pile. Yeah, there we go. Gets a bit laggy, though, when you do start stacking up a big pile. Perfect. Oh, shoot. I think we gotta wait, actually. We've got... <laughs> we've been collecting too much, and the refinery can't keep up, which is fine. We might have to just wait a little bit. Let the refinery catch up, and then we'll go back to mining more. It's fine. It's nighttime. We'll wait till morning before we clean up the rest of this pile. Alrighty, the sun's coming back up, so let's get back to finishing this patch right away. I'm excited to see how much we've actually gotten in resources. That's two patches mined in a very, very short amount of time. But I was actually thinking about it with the refinery. I'm probably going to, at some point in time, I did a little bit more concrete work, as you can see. But I want to, at some point in time, make it look like a proper combine-type vehicle. And I need more concrete to do that, and obviously I need a lot of paint. But then I also think I'm going to make a second refinery to go on it as well. I feel like the single refinery just, uh, you know, it just can't keep up. I feel like we can put two refineries on this, no problem. Make the vehicle a little bit wider. The front is already, you know, relatively large, so not that big a deal. And if we could just make the whole thing a little bit bigger, we could support two refineries and, you know, just be able to get rid of material that much quicker so we don't have to wait on the resource collectors. But let's get all these straggler rocks and then... We just gotta mine the rest of that down. Oh man, this is so cool. Perfect. Done. Let's go back towards the patch. It is a little difficult sometimes to see all the rocks with these trees and stuff, but we just kind of plow right into them and there we go. Something like that. It would be nice if we had a proper battery storage container. You know, it's very much a prototype build. It just worked, which is what shocks me. I'm not, I wasn't expecting this to work at all. I honestly thought. It was going to be a failed prototype, but uh, the fact that it works is just fantastic. Just means we need to actually improve it and make it look a little bit like an actual vehicle now. We're aiming up, but that's okay. We can fix this. So all we got to do is just adjust these to five and go to like ultra low sweeper mode where it basically lifts the whole vehicle up and then it shouldn't be a problem. We might have to actually put a second piston, although that would probably just lag the whole thing out too much. But now if we do this, there we go. Now, oh boy, those pistons have very, very little friction. That's right. Hold on. We can just get it there. Perfect. Go up. Back down. There we go. Yeah. And just look at that. Excellent. There's a thing that happens with Scrap Mechanic. It's kind of weird. And sometimes with these rock formations, this happens. But blocks can get stuck in the thin layer of terrain. And so if you put a seat on it, you can kind of, yeah, there they all are. See, they're all stuck here. So what's keeping them up? There's like, oh, there's that little, see that square piece that's holding them all up? So we got to just, we got to push them down a little bit. It's not a big deal. So we can do a few things. Uh, we'll just bring this panel forward. And this should, if we just make a big panel like this, we should be able to push some of them down. It's kind of a weird process that you have to do, but uh, did, I, did I get some? Not sure. And then we'll bring the panel over. So I do this all the time just to make sure I clear out the entire resource node. But if you haven't been doing this, you can probably go back to a bunch of your old spots you've been mining in the game and you'll just find a ton of resources. It's for some reason they get like clipped into the terrain. There we go. See one just appeared there. Perfect. And we'll just grab this and push them down again. We'll just keep doing this and clear them out. Excellent. Just more stuff to mine, of course. And then we got to somehow there's like a piece here that's hanging. I don't know. I don't know how to stop it from hanging. See, it's kind of like stuck. The big square guys, you can't mine out. Only the small guys can't. It's got to be like right here. Oh, there it is. See that corner? You got to drill that corner. There we go. I think we got it. I heard something. There we go. Look at that. All the rocks come back up. Perfect. So let's just get the rest of them out from underneath, and then we'll be able to finish up all this stuff with the miner. Perfect. I think I got them all. So if we take a look down below, there's nothing hanging below the surface. You can also make vehicles that drive underground, which is, you know, a whole other thing. Of course, you have to have wheels above ground and hang the whole vehicle. But we actually did a multiplayer race like that once. And it's very possible, and I'm sure it would work great in survival. You just have to use your lift, of course, to put it below the ground each time. Um, not exactly sure if there's a reason for it. I feel like the tape bots could still attack the wheels that are above the ground. But uh, either way, we've got all the rocks now. Let's just put these back to four. So we're not scraping the ground because 
We don't need it to lift the whole front wheels off the ground the way it's been doing. I really wish there was a way we could have number logic in this, like in the mod pack, where you can actually, you know, change the length of the pistons on the fly. But here we go. Look at that. Get all the rest of this stuff. Perfect. Look at all those resources we would have missed if we didn't actually check below the ground. I'm telling you, I went back after a while. I didn't know this was a thing until after I had been mining a bunch of patches. And I went back to all my old resource patches and most of them had stuff below the ground just because of that weird thing where they get hung up in the terrain. So it's definitely worth checking. And you just need like a seat on a lift. So you just place a line of blocks down the lift and then you lower your lift down and you can actually see below the ground. This is so much easier than the big crane arm. The robot crane arm, I'm not gonna lie, it was cool. I like the idea of using transport truck trailers and having like a portable refinery. But honestly, with the way Scrap Mechanic is, it seems like you're better off just making a system like this where you've got drill bits, collectors, and a refinery all in one vehicle. You just drive around, get everything all at once, and uh, you're good to go. This thing's, for some reason, it drifts. I, I don't know why. Oh, out of battery. Okay, well, that's fine. We do chew through batteries, I will say. This thing is definitely a bit of a battery hog, so not sure if I should change it from an electric engine. I kind of want it to stay electric, though, because I feel like that's just more power. And, uh, you know, the gas engine might not have the torque it needs to push this big heavy brick of a vehicle around. But we do chew through battery. Although if we have a battery storage container, it probably will be a little bit better and we won't notice it as much. We're almost back at base. We're going to bring this inside, of course. And then we're just going to actually wait for this to finish refining, although it's almost done. Just because I want to get the final count on how much material this brought back in its first trip. And I bet you it was more than all the trips I did with the stupid trailer combined. The trailer just, it was not, it was not good. Okay, we've got like one, two, three, four, almost five full stacks of stone. One, two, three, three and a bit stacks of metal and one little thing. You know what, that's, that's really good. That's actually pretty decent considering we only mined out two nodes and that didn't take that long at all. I could see myself mining a ton more stuff with this. And then, you know, once we've got a ton of material just building a better vehicle and of course finishing up this wall and there's just tons of stuff we can do with all this material now but either way let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know if you have other ideas for cool vehicles to make in survival i still want to make a tree cutting vehicle i haven't really done any major tree cutting i honestly haven't had a reason to i've pretty much gotten all the wood i've gotten simply by cutting trees down with the hammer by hand but i would like to make some sort of an automatic saw vehicle at some point in time and then of course we got to finish up the wall we got to build more turrets maybe some auto turrets we gotta build some buildings and we need more parking space because we're just we're just flat out of parking space we've got so much stuff here but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time